Okay, Troy, well, just in summary, what we've decided to do, having reviewed uh, this little birdie, um, is that I'm giving you some stinky paint. Um, that is this preparation here. I call it stinky paint because if you get it on yourself and you don't wash it off your hands, you're likely to taste something resembling garlic and prawns or garlic and oysters in about 10 minutes' time. However, I know it's not today's garlic and prawns, I know it's not, today, not tomorrow's garlic and prawns, and it's not yesterday's, it could be last year's. So, um, wash your hands quickly if you get it on yourself. Uh, this is to be applied to the, uh, just with a cotton bud or a paintbrush, um, a little artist paintbrush, around the, around the base of the tail uh, twice a day, sparingly. The other thing that I'm doing at the present stage is I'm giving you a preparation that binds heavy metals because we've established that there is a probability of heavy metal poisoning contributing to disease um, and other toxins from the cage with the plastic water containers, plastic food containers. Um, I suspect your cage has got a lot of hazards in it. Um, not your cage, but your bird's cage. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I want to start detoxing your birdie. So I'm giving you a preparation that contains zeolite, and I'll just demonstrate how we do that. Um, I'll just get you a little birdie. Oh, hey, baby. And hi, bubs. And set the intent of calming our friend, um, and of sending that calming energy through your hand to your birdie. Uh, makes the job a lot easier. Um, and then, just take hold of her by the cheek um, and the side of the neck there. Have her upright. Just tilt the head up a bit and secure her like that. Mouth is already partly open. Have your dropper ready. And finger to finger, bringing the drop over, not letting the drop touch the beak, but aiming for the back of the top beak. And when, then we can just roll that in. That one rolled off. So we'll try again, and again. When you get a drop in, give her a chance to swallow. If you get her just to nibble there, a little bit like that, it will roll in, okay? So that's the, basically the technique, and one to two drops by mouth, twice a day, and there she is calm, just to show you that we can calm her. I'll just do that again, just calm. I'll just focus on calming, so I was talking to the camera. A bit tricky, to, <laughs> a bit tricky to do everything at the same time, but I'll just set the intent to calm. There's the calming. So, you're a beautiful little birdie. You're okay. And we'll just wake her up. And, yeah. No, we don't want you popping down to the floor hurting yourself. You are. You can stand there. Here you are. Here you are. Right. Well, we'll say cheers. And I'll get you to report to me in a week's time. It's likely to take up to a month for this problem to resolve. And we're making a lot of changes to diet and cage management, which we haven't got time to discuss right now on film. But um, I want you to let me know. And there's quite a few more options that we have to try and help her. So, in general, the, the diagnosis is avian self-mutilation syndrome, that's a descriptive term. I think she has cytosine pyritic polyfolliculosis, PPPF, and she's certainly got uh, what we also call stress dermatitis, avian self-mutilation. Um, and she's got chronic malnutrition, and we could go on with a list of other things, but anyway, so thanks very much. Okay.